Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to put the events list together. I will first of all log in and we should go into the administration panel and to the events. So let's go for a quick walkthrough. Events, you can see all the events you've already got booked in. Okay, you can look very easily at past events, for example. Apply, it will bring up the past events that have been in there in the system. Give it a couple of seconds. There we go. So that's the past events. Okay, some of those are the test ones we've put in there. Um, we can look at this month, next month, next two months, and so on and so forth. But for the moment, I'll leave it on future events. Right. Okay. Let's refresh. What we want to do is add an event. So click the event. We'll call it our office party. Let's put some content in there. Let's put the title in there. I'm moving too quick. You can always stop, rewind, and pause. Um, you can use this very much the same as you would a word processor. It's quite simple. Font sizes, 24 should be enough. Centralize it, and we can give it a background color. Let's just say red for the art for argument's sakes. Okay. <clears throat> okay. You can also, if you've got a call to action or reason for people to go to another page, you can still hyperlink it quite easy from here. So you basically select the word, or words in this case, hyperlink. Let's go to Facebook for fun, facebook.com, uh, title, Facebook. And I would always recommend opening the link in a new tab, okay? And then add the link. Right, that's the easy bit. Then we can put in the when. So let's do it Friday. And we're going to do it on mm, six o'clock ish. There we go, six o'clock to the boarding party, quarter to ten. And if it's obviously over a period of days, you can put the next date in there or all day and so on and so forth. You can save the drafts. If you've got more information you need to put in later, you can. Um, what else? If it doesn't have a physical location, you, you can put it on here as well. So maybe it's something on the TV or a sports event and there's no actual physical location required, you can do that. But make sure you do click that box. Okay. Um, Part is going to be our office. Our office. Oh, okay, it's populated already. You just put the address in, putting up the map straight away. Pretty easy. If you'd like to, or in fact, you have to put it into another category. So this is a social event. So click the social. If it was a business, so on and so forth. Bookings. Yes, we're going to take some bookings. We're going to put a standard ticket. Or should we be a bit mean? Maybe it's not free. We're going to charge a thousand francs for it. And we want thirty people to come. I wouldn't worry about the rest of this. Do not use this members only or required. Um, in fact, you sorry, you can use required, but don't use the members only. The members only needs people to actually log with the system, and it's going to cause you all sorts of problems that you don't really need. So I'm not going to save that for now, but well, you can, why not? So that will give you a standard ticket, a thousand forants. It's just available 10 out of 30, but there's more, and so on and so forth. If you want to add a ticket, we can do the same thing here. It's quite simple. Okay, so that's the simple fact way of uh, actually adding an event. It's not too complicated. You can preview your event. So a quick look at what it looks like. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's our office party at our office. It's a social category, and there's the information there. And if we click that, that should take us to Facebook. There you go. Okay, don't need that. Right, so back to the interface. Um, <laughs> you can put event tags in here if you wish to make it, you know, like our office party or Budapest party or something like that. You can you you can put them in there. 
I don't think there's much need for it. We're not going to be SEO in this event. You know, it's two days. Not enough people are going to find it. The search engines won't find it, etc., etc. So it's a bit pointless. So you can add and then get rid of it if you wish. Okay. So what's important in here? At the moment, you only need to do is use the events page, add event, or the bookings. So if we go to bookings, basically it will enable you to have a look at future events, past events, or all events, etc. So if you look at past events, if you've got something that's happened and you want to just check it, select filter and it will bring it up. You can, I think, yeah, you can put all filter. So it's telling me at that event, at the business seminar one, there was nine people, and here's your name. So you've got any disputes or who was, wasn't there, etc., etc. you can have a look at your information here. Okay, that's pretty much it for the uh, event calendar. It is far more complicated than what I've just gone over here, but I think this is more than enough to get you started. I'll probably make another one that goes into a little bit more detail um, at a future date, but I think this would be more than enough for now. So, as always, any problems, any questions, give me a call or send me an email. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.